So you guys, I literally just uploaded a video about Gino Doak and right after I uploaded it, I was looking around, um, just doing a little bit more research into like what's going on with Gino because like I said, he was hospitalized and I couldn't figure out why he was hospitalized. So I was trying to just look around at some articles to see if there was anybody that could tell us like why he was hospitalized. It's a little concerning, I'm not gonna lie. I've actually become a, a fan of Geno's. I'm not even gonna lie with you guys. This last season of um, Mama June, I thought, oh my goodness, he's changed. He's doing so much better. He's like the level-headed one in the show. So I was really like hoping that it wasn't like a relapse or anything like that. So I was trying to figure out what's going on. And I come across this article, Mama June's ex-boyfriend Gino is wanted in Alabama while doing rehab in South Carolina. So this is not looking good, you guys. It says Mama June's ex-boyfriend isn't getting any breaks from the judge, even though he's in rehab. He is in rehab in the wrong state, which is why now he is a wanted man. According to new legal documents obtained by TMZ, a bench warrant has been issued for Gino Doak in Macon County, Alabama for failing to comply with the terms of his sentencing in his crack cocaine case. The warrant says that Gino is to be taken into custody by any Alabama law enforcement officer and held without bail until he can have a hearing. So the thing is, is Gino is in South Carolina. He checked into a recovery center earlier this week and the facility said that he made a commitment of 120 days. He is actually allowed to stay up to a year, but he committed to 120 days. Now, um, Gino filed documents to loop the judge in about what was going on, you know, his whereabouts, the fact that he was in rehab in a different state. Um, but unfortunately for him, he was supposed to be in Alabama as part of his sentence and he failed to relocate there as required. So rules are rules, rehab or not, this judge is not happy. Um, and now Gino has a warrant for his arrest. So we all know that Gino, you know, he got arrested he was sentenced just like a month or so ago to 16 months behind bars, but he took a plea deal that basically said, um, like he's on probation for that time period. If you mess up any, you're going straight to jail. Um, now, apparently from my understanding now, he was actually supposed to relocate to Alabama to serve out this sentence. It says here, Gino filed documents to loop in the judge from his crack cocaine case about his whereabouts, but unfortunately for him, he was supposed to be in Alabama as part of his sentence and he failed to relocate there as required. So not only was, you know, he, he on probation for like 60 months, he was ordered to move from Florida to Alabama as part of his sentencing. I've never heard of that, you guys. Normally, like, from what I understand, if you catch a case somewhere, but you live somewhere else, and it just so happened you were passing through and you caught a case, um, they allow you to serve out your, your, your sentence, you know, wherever you live, as long as it's not in jail. Like, if you took a plea deal to be on probation for a certain amount of time, you can actually serve out that probation in the state that you reside in. I've never heard of a judge ordering that you relocate, but apparently that was the case here. He did not relocate and he was hospitalized earlier this month. The doctors there said you need to go to rehab and they recommended him to this facility in South Carolina. So that's where he went, but the judge is like, I don't care, not gonna happen. You are going to jail. So that's where we're at, you guys, with Gino. Still no word on why he was hospitalized, but if I find out, I'll let you guys know. Also, literally, you know, he's going to be in this program for 120 days. I don't know if they would actually send anyone there to go pick him up um, due to a warrant or if it's just like, hey, if you see him, let us know. Um, but if he gets picked up, I'll let you guys know. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I'm kind of feeling a little bit down and out about this now. Like I had high hopes for Gino and I, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little sad that he may have to go to jail over this. Um, I don't think it's right that a judge can order you to move states. Um, I feel like he's, he listened to the doctors, you know, the doctor told him what he needed to do. So he did it. He made this uh, commitment of 120 days and now it may be thrown all away because a judge may throw him in jail you know when I feel like maybe he was trying to do right you guys let me your thoughts make sure you give the video a thumbs up and until next time I'll see you guys later goodbye everyone